covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. At long last, Amazon Prime Video is catching up to competitors like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus with, with a key feature, user profiles. The feature began rolling out in the mobile and set-top box versions of the Prime Video app beginning Tuesday. The feature allows multiple people sharing on Amazon Prime subscription to maintain separate watch histories and watch lists. Additionally, Amazon has made a distinction between user profiles for kids and profiles for adults with different rules. Users can configure up to six profiles in any mix of children's and adult's pro adult profiles. All this is rolling out immediately, but it will take time to reach all users. Multiple user profiles were supported in India and Africa previously, and they are only now making their way to the rest of the world, including the United States. The rollout brings Amazon closer to feature parity with uh, Netflix and other big streaming partners, players. The bulk of major apps in this space offered this feature, but there are some outliers who still don't, like CBS All Access. Some of those other streaming services offer robust parental controls, so Amazon is leaning into that with these changes as well. Individual profiles can be flagged as a kid's profile. That profile will only see recommendations or search results of TV shows and films that are age appropriate, 12 and under, and kids won't be able to make purchases. Amazon is including a number of other options for filtering content like this, including the ability to restrict content on a per device basis. Amazon is making these changes amidst rising competition. Disney Plus has seen massive growth in the recent months and Netflix seems to be faring well also. Large new entrants to the market with massive libraries of exclusive content like HBO Max and Peacock are also hitting the scene, which puts pressure on Prime Video to offer competitive features and content. In terms of content, Amazon is working on a Lord of Rings TV series and it just released a new season of Hannah. The industry giant is also developing a TV series based on the video game franchise Fallout from some of the writers of Behind HBO's from some of the writers behind HBO's Westworld. What I do like about Amazon Prime Video is as an Amazon Prime member, I have it. Right. So while it, it kind of seems like, okay, well, these, there's all these services. You've got to subscribe to 10 different services in order to get the shows that you want. Well, Amazon Prime is part of my Prime service, right. which I get for free shipping. Yes. And priorities and, and stuff like that on Amazon. So it, it really is cool. What I don't like about the profile system on Netflix because there was a time when even Netflix didn't support profiles. Yeah, it's relatively new with like the last six months to a year, isn't it? Uh, it's been a couple years, Is I it? think, Jeff. Yeah, oh, I remember okay. reporting on it when it was new. But what I don't like about it is that there are no pins. There are no, right. there's no protection on the profiles. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. When I first set up profiles on our family Netflix account, I had one for each of my children and then one called parents. Right. And I had it set up so that it was like adult con like not adult content, but you know what I mean, grown-up shows. Yes. Uh for uh the parents and the kids were limited to stuff that was age appropriate. Well, it didn't take long before I started hearing from our our child that Oh, so and so changed my name to Butthead. <laughs> you know, and oh, they changed my avatar to something like whatever. So, it, and then it became yeah. like fights. Truth moment. That was you doing it at night, wasn't it? Nah, Just you got about. me. <laughs> yeah. No, so now it's like our our pro. I've given up. Our profiles are all ridiculous. Yes. But I, I really wish that Netflix and Amazon Prime maybe they'll maybe someone will clue in and say, okay, well. The parents should be the only ones who can set those settings. Yes. The parents should be the ones who can configure them. And maybe they, they have a pin-based system so that my, like each child could make changes to their own profile, like changing their avatar, changing their name, but not allow trolling right. <laughs> within the family. Yeah. So that's the only biff that I have with it. It's it's a nice feature that, uh, that they're rolling out with because... Um, that's been one of the challenges we've had. Like we have a, we have an Android box at home for the purpose of being able to get Disney Plus and Amazon uh, Prime TV on our home TV because it's not a smart TV or anything like that. So we needed a way to put all those kind of in there. Mm. And, um, and and one of the things that I've struggled with is whenever we've gone to Amazon uh, 
to watch their content, there is no way to separate between the kids and the, yes. and the adults. And so this is a nice feature they're rolling out. But up until this point, I've not allowed our kids to go on to the Amazon content because right. I don't want them just opening up something and being like, oh, that's, that's different. <laughs> yeah, or there's the other side of it where, okay, well, each of the three kids is watching The Office but they're watching it at different places, right? right? So it messes up the queuing. So, yeah, so one of the nice things about online content and streaming video is that you can keep track of which episode you're on. Well, you lose that if you don't have profiles. Yes. So that's another thought.